Lachlan, right now authorities in Pasco County are trying to figure out what to do with dozens of dogs found at a home in Spring Hill. Officials say the home was a rescue that got overwhelmed with too many animals. Our Eric Waxler has the latest details. It's just a situation where you've got too many dogs suddenly pushed into a house and they just can't keep up with it. Pasco County Animal Services and Code Enforcement Officers spent Monday morning going through this Spring Hill property. There had been concern from the Sheriff's Office that it was a case of animal hoarding. And while officials say the conditions inside the home are poor, they found 50 plus dogs in good shape. Animal Control says the property is home to Sleepy Hollow Dog Rescue. Owners had planned to relocate the animals to North Carolina, but that didn't work out. You can have as many as you want in North Carolina as long as they're North Carolina animals but you can't transport animals in. The rescue owners brought the dogs back here, and that's when the problems got out of control. Originally, when they had uh, rescued the animals, they had them all fostered out, so there weren't that many animals here on this property. But then they started collecting them all to take them to North Carolina. So when they came back, you see that trailer over there, they had them all in the trailer, they brought them all back here, and that's when the, you know, all this broke. Code Enforcement's reports as the homeowner told them his daughter owned all the dogs and the inside of the house had been destroyed by them, filled with feces and urine, making it no longer livable. They were cited for animal neglect and given a warning for operating a kennel in a residential district. The Humane Society of Tampa took 23 dogs yesterday and Pasco Animal Services has custody of the rest until a place is found for them. The owner is described as overwhelmed and embarrassed. She also has horses, cats, and two sugar gliders similar to these on the property. In Spring Hill, Eric Waxler,